What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Yi Jian, the Cultivator Auto Deck Battle. What we have here is we got a very quick event going on called the Divine Brush. You want to make sure to jump into this because it makes this game so completely random. And we're going to talk about how because it's about the card called Divine Brush, which you will get every time you use Exchange Card. Don't forget to come do this real fast to get your 500 Spirit Stones, your Winter Avatar Frame, and also your Winter Card back. Let's start a game. All right, we got ourselves a decent game here. We do have uh, four practice puppets, but that means we have four real people. The issue with this is that it is kind of hard to get a full game. So I'll take a half full game just to kind of progress here because the idea is just to kind of show you what this is all about. So let's talk about Divine Brush. Divine Brush, defense plus four, six rate, depending on the level. And then it'll trigger an effect of a random sect card. That is not all the sects. It is of your sect. So a random sect card card within the sect your character is involved in okay so not a hundred percent random but a good variation nonetheless so this so like obviously no star point there so we're not getting the extra buff reverse that's actually really great card to have in this deck because of the uno reverses extra star points continuous five times we don't have any hex but we did get off four hits without any hex that's massive talk about nice and lucky there making a star point some debuff good damage good fight because why not take the luckiest built deck building event around and just point it with the luckiest sect around i'm gonna go with the painter and we're just gonna exchange three cards again one two three one two three i'm gonna just uh just gonna eat these to get the cultivation so we can try and go first going first in a game of luck is obviously going to be incredibly beneficial to us look at this guy this, this oh that's a practice this guy right here Rombon. he lost to a practice puppet brother what are you doing it's all right me gene tesla and our other buddy over here don't know who you are sorry brother can't read are still in it some of the things i want to try and build up here is if i can get lucky enough to draw the continuous card to make all of my cards star points i will put that in the deck but otherwise i don't think there's any cards i would put in the deck besides maybe a internal stack of bleed but we'll see no star points i don't lose any chi If your hexagram is exactly eight, do something. That was interesting. That must have been like a secret or talisman card. This is one way to see a lot of secret cards being activated. Some of my favorite secret cards are actually in the five element sect. I just think that's a very hard sect to play in this mode because a lot of their damage is based off of either generating elements or having the cards to continuously have that element out. But when you play a card, you're actually in this mode, you're actually just playing Divine Brush and activating the effect. You're not playing the card. So the five element sec won't have generating effects off the cards played before it because the card technically never played, right? So keep that in mind. They can still do well. I think Muehu can do a decent job if you can mitigate some of the cultivation loss in the beginning by playing his ring card to activate earth and metal. And with that, if you can get lucky enough, you can really stay on top with it. And we're just getting like tons of ads here. Look at all that hex. Ooh, she got some big heals too. Come on. There it is, baby. Sorry, bro. Sorry. We almost lost to the practice puppet too. That was close. One, two, three, one. Breakthrough. Uh, Destiny damage is equal to 15 resisted. That's probably pretty good exchange plus one none of these matter to us in a game like this because when you also use the divine brush you it act this costs no chi to use right so because it costs no chi to use you're not at you activate the card for free so even if you try to activate a card that costs 57 chi it's still going to cost no chi so having any pre-generated chi isn't going to be beneficial unless you get lucky and hit cards that deal more damage or give other bonus effects based on the amount of chi you have and in a game of luck and skill, I think having the Crimson Yarn Guard Hard Air is pretty huge. Or any of the other characters that have a, you know, basically survive death once kind of mechanic, it's fantastic. 
That way you get one more battle chance, and if you're versing just another game of luck, you have a good chance of winning, right? So now he's got the wood spear. Here's a great example. So we'll talk about this as we go here. So he, he, he actually got lucky. So actually, no, he didn't get lucky because he activated the wood spear formation, but you saw there how they were the same card. There was no generating effect, so it didn't activate the chase, right? So, and now they do have a earth spirit and now they have water spirit as well. That's pretty good luck for them. So they do have two of their elements open. And then they had they activate that, which is completely useless. It's just a waste of a turn for them. Play all five element seals. So that's a fantastic card. And that's also a super hidden hard card to get. So now, because he got that, he does have... Oh my God, I did it again. <laughs> Didn't do anything, but geez, look at this. Look at it go. So now this is a perfect example. Like he got super lucky, right? So now he has all of his elements open. So now all of his cards are going to do the, uh, do their additional effects. World smash is useless in a deck like this. Some extra bleed there. Oh baby. Look at this. And now we got, he just had like one of the best rounds of his life where he activated all of the cards at once off of one card, all of his elements. Ooh, see, this would be nice if we were going to generate chi. I might grab this actually. And then he grabbed, and then he got the other secret divine card, which if he had any, with every element seal he has open, he deals 28 attack. So he just ran through our team. Fantastic. Well done. That's why I say five elements can be good. It's got to be super lucky. Like he's never going to hit that again. Like the chances of hitting all that again is going to be so slim. I've played against all the five elements. I've seen those cards individually. I've never seen them get hit that hard before. I've seen like at most like three elements activate when that went off. Actually, not even. It was only two when it went off because it was versus Mwehu. And he used his ring. I don't see a lot of people play this guy very often. He's good at chunking down Destiny, so he can be like a very good early game player. I kind of feel like he loses out towards the end game comparatively to some other within the Hepastar Pavilion. So, you know, thinking about that, he could be pretty good here because as long as he wins his fights, he deals some additional damage. I don't know if he took it. We'll have to check him out after, but he can get one effect where he'll deal an additional four damage to you when he defeats you in battle. That can be massive when you're starting at 60, right? And, we, and I said that we start at 60 and he's at 74. <laughs> he might have taken the extra 14 instead of doing that. Big damage there. Oof, look at that defense. Ooh, big post attack. Catastrophe. We didn't have the hex, and he got some good damage there. So he just had better cards than us. That's just what happens, though. All right, let's exchange again. Gonna just do it like that. Bring her all in. We'll level up next time. Again, the levels don't really mean too much for us. So let's see. What he did get the yeah, Destiny plus 14. See, I don't think I would have done that. Although 14 Destiny is really good in a, especially in a game mode like this. I think him dealing four extra destiny to people when he wins is a lot better. Play aggressive, right? I think he has it. No, he has Stork Chi, which is useless in this mode. Because these cards don't cost Chi. Ooh, skip a card. Damn. So I got a... With a... If I play a card that uses a post effect, I can play the post effect if it's early. So pretty nice if you hit that like this right here. So I was able to play that instead of it being a dead card. Same with here. So we got an extra extra mileage from getting that out there, which is nice. Ooh, beautiful pose to action because we get a full heal out of that. Reduce HP is reverse for the next three times hit. So be small hits, please, and thank you. <laughs> Ooh, that's a great one to get. Star power and make all slots star slots. So now he'll be doing extra damage to us for all his attacks by two. But also, he can activate more abilities. 
And I've hit that card like three times in this fight. That's crazy. But where I need to have like exactly eight hexagrams to activate something, but it's always too fast, so I never see what it is that I can activate. I've got 10 star power, 14 star power. Ah, damn. Good for you. I'm not getting lucky on my hits. I'm just getting a lot of chi generation, which is not benefiting me. We're, get, we're getting far down here. Uh, minus eight cultivation, draw cards. Now I'm just going to draw two set cards. You know what? I think we can get use out of that. I'm going to try that. I think we can do something with that. I think that could actually be pretty game changing for us. Because now every time I'm getting Chi, I'll at least gain 2 HP per Chi, right? If I can get another and level it up, that'd be good. Just kind of benefit from the luck a bit. Change my opponent's HP to 1. Imagine hitting that in a random mode. Oh, and we activated that again. So now we're gaining 6 HP for every Chi we gain. Some chase, but it's not a. We don't have any hexagrams. Ooh, big damage without any hexagrams. Gotta love, gotta love the odds. Good heals. Now they get their spirit sword cost de decreased, but it means nothing, obviously. Ooh, another big one to get. Now we got some flaws on them that could be huge for us. We can actually do some damage. There we go. Oh my god, that was such a good card for them to get. That card is a secret card, and it does six extra damage for every chi they have, and it doesn't consume the chi, so they did 60 extra damage to me. No, no hexagrams to help us out there. Now we've got some hexes, which is nice. Oof, down to one HP from that card. Oh, big HP there, or big defense gains. All right, cool. That was close. That was a good fight. Yeah, look at that sword intent they had building up. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to throw this over here. That way I can maximize my cultivation. All right, we're versus the practice puppet. That's what we lost to. We lost to a practice puppet. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. That makes me feel so much worse. The practice puppet had the best luck. Freaking bots. Freaking bots. Alright, let's see, let's see the luck difference this time between between how the bot first played and this one. So they got a fire formation. Earth dust. None of these extra effects are going off because they don't have any any seals right now. And that's the hard part about this deck is if they don't generate those seals or have a way to do it beforehand, their their output is like halved. It, it, you know, honestly, even worse. It's like 80% effect, right? Because now without the fire spirit, it doesn't reduce my max HP down. So it's a good attack, but it, you lose that secondary effect, which makes it super strong. Play all five elements again. You got to be shitting me. That's like a divine level card. I don't even think it's in the game. And they hit it again against me. That's the third time they've hit that on me. That is ridiculous. I can't even believe that. I'm impressed at that luck. Impressed and mad. I am supposed to be the lucky guild with the, with the Hepastar sect. Not you. The five element sect is supposed to be built on integration and cycles. Good seal activation there. We're gonna lose. Oh, got a little health back. We're gonna lose this fight though because they activated all five seals again at once. Oh, we could get lucky here. We did get lucky. Jeez. Them activating all five seals at once is so brutal because not only does it just, they get all five elements activated, they now have five cards to play at me at one time because it plays every card individually. And of course that's also dependent on what level the card is, right? Rotary? What is this? 
if the opponent's HP is reduced by four, the opponent's... Yeah, uh, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not what we need. A add two hex? Yes. This is something I'd almost think about taking if I didn't have the Dharma. I probably would do this to stack up some extra internal bleeds, perhaps. But we do have the Dharma, so I don't want it. We're just going to eat the cards. Oh, we're playing fast, people. Hell yeah. The first game I played, someone was just running the clock down the whole time. It's like they never heard of a ready button. 60% more attack on their thunder attacks. Very nice. See, th this is also a good reason to use this guy in this mode is because he gets the ultimate hexagram base where he'll add a hexagram at the beginning of every turn. So now when he gets his good cards, he can use them really strong. Next card triggers twice. Fantastic card. Love that when I'm using my heal builds. Oh my, they got that. Whew, that was painful. Now we're both healing on our chi usage, but he gets double because he had a higher activation of my of his. Alright, cool. We got his max HP down a bit there, so that helps. My god, he look at that star power. He's gotten that twice. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. So he's been stacking up hexagrams, and he got the card where it converts all your hexagrams to star points or star power. So it's such a it's such a good card. It doesn't work well for me because I'm so random right now. But because he's getting one hexagram at the start of every turn, him getting that card is money. I'm back to max HP though. We both have the same amount of internal bleeds on us. I'm healing for like every hit he deals. Raw damage output. Let's go. Beautiful stuff. Good chase there. Oh, and now he's got oh, all of his points are now star points. Thank God we took him out. He got the he got the for, the formation card that made all of his points star points. Hey, we drew a divine brush. Amazing how that works. Uh, and because of that, all, since all of his points were star points, that means he had an, just an unlimited amount of power. Every card was going to do 17 extra damage. So who do we got here? Two of the practice pups are done and this guy's done. That's a shame. Bad luck. I don't like this sect, the uh, the cloudless sect or cloud sword sect. Uh, I, I don't think it's good for this mode. I think it requires a lot more luck because they have a lot of building cards with the, with like all the sword cloud sect cards. They have to build off each other. So unless you do use him and he didn't even use it, Oh, here it is. Cloud effect can be triggered even if there is no cloud sword played first. So you got to get halfway through this to get that to get the benefit of it. And I still think that's a bit rushed because then when you get the um, unrestricted sword cards, like they, they're not as powerful as they would be if you were playing them normally. Right. So I don't think it's a great one. I think the good order here is go Hepastar Pavilion, then five elements sect, and then don't use the cloud sword sect. Next unrestrained sword will trigger twice. Oh, we got four hits off that. That's fantastic. Whew. Big HP. We got four hexagrams. That's awesome. Just a good card in general. It doesn't do much for us at the moment because we did heal a bunch at the beginning there, actually. So it did kind of work. Diligent Sword's really nice when you get that late in the game. Our cultivation is obviously so low in this game mode, but you get your cultivation up to like the 80s and you have a card like that. They can slap. Hey, look, another unrestrained sword card. More internal injury. That's really going to hurt him. Stacking internal injuries can be really good in this mode. Because it goes right through the defense that we stack every turn, you know? And we got all those hits off because we had plenty of hexagrams. And I don't... I think what I'm going to do is I am going to save it in case I don't want this. 
but I don't think that's going to be the case. But like I said, just in case I do want to get rid of it, I'll have at least a gold divine brush to, to back us up with. So we're going to first a practice puppet again. I swear to you, if he hits that five seals again, I am going to blow this game up and just call these bots cheaters because I tried it. The first time I played, I used Mwehu and I got second with him. But actually, no, I think I got third. I got third and got beat by two Yowlings. And the luck was just atrocious. Like some games I'd, I'd hit amazingly. I'd get, um, there's a secret card that builds off of earth and metal at the same time. And it adds like 23 defense and 23 penetration stacks. And it's super good. And then when you had that stacked with the Kunwu metal ring that I had in my first slot, having that was really nice. I would proc that every now and then. And that's what kind of saved our games. But without those, like I'd only have the in the beginning, I'd have no seals and I'd only get like maybe one or two throughout it, like in a few cycles. So all of my cards were just hitting like wet noodles. It's like here, he doesn't get any increased attack stacks. He did have the same cultivation of me, which is sad, sad for me. He's got a fire formation. So we did get his earth element right there. So he's got an earth seal. This does nothing on for him, unfortunately, because he has no wood. You get a internal bleed on him. No chase because he has no metal. And remember, these don't generate. A f th there are no elemental generations when you play Divine Brushes. Just gain Chi. All right, now he's got the Earth formation. So when he does play Earth, he can at least activate the effect and gain extra defense. But again, see how it didn't generate the effect? Fire, useless. Water element, fantastic. Water formation, all right. Okay, now he's got water and earth. Like, look, we're already like almost done the second cycle and he's got two, which is like much more reasonable. This is why he needs the Kunwu metal ring, so he can start off with a metal and an earth. That was the one right there. Super hard to see. If you go back and freeze it, that's the card I was talking about. That adds a ton of defense and a ton of penetration. But he didn't have a metal formation, so he didn't get the penetration out of it. Oh my god, but look at that. Because he got all that defense, he got lucky again. See, that's the name of the game, though. That was fantastic. He got so much defense out of that. That he was able to slap me with one card and just trash us. Absolutely fantastic. That's why I do think the five element set can be good. Is because if you try and have a hard focus on Earth with the Kunwu Metal Ring. And then you get defense cards that help build that base up. You'll do great. Get rid of that. Because then when you get a card that d does damage based off of how much defense you've lost. You're gaining defense with all these divine brushes. So you gain a bunch back. Or if you gain extra defense built off of damage loss. So the earth side of it is really good for sure. It's just hard because it's luck. And we went for so long there too. Because I, I didn't have great cards either. We were both kind of having pretty, pretty poor luck. Pretty average luck I'd say. And we didn't get any like good cards to start us off with. And it was just basically who's going to get the better card. And he did that time. I mean, he's gotten it bet on me three times now, which is crazy. Crazy. After I'm trash talking the five elements sec the whole time, he's beat me every time. We're 0 3. Bunch of star power there. Fantastic. Big damage? Nope. No damage. So they got the formation whenever they gain hexagrams, they're gonna deal damage to us, which is great. Oof, big HP gains. And a reverse, that's good. There's a lot of good post action cards in here. If I get that card, I wanna play that actually in the deck. So I wanna be able to get that extra attack off of post action. Slowly chunking each other away. Now he's going to gain some HP back. He's got four HP gains on every Chi now. Better than mine because he got it with the Divine Brush. 
Remember, mine is just off a card, so I'm only gaining two because it's at the very basic level. I haven't gotten lucky with another one yet, unfortunately. Breakthrough. Draw one card immediately. No. Max HP each time you add HP, add five temporary max HP first. Yes. See, this would be really nice. Do I chance it? Do we want to try a chancy here? Let's try a chancy. I'm going to pop this right at the end and see if we can get lucky and gain some chi down the line. I feel like we should. Two chi is not hard. And I think being able to get a, this in our deck here would be very beneficial. I want to move it up more like this, but I, I don't know how talky I feel about getting that. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Even if I lose, I should be able to, to live once more. We're still a little early. Continuous. Whenever you gain a stack of hex, deal three damage. And he's using this. Interesting. Switch it up a little bit. Not a bad gig, though. Good damage. I was, I'm weakened and flawed, so. Oh, look at that. Defense. How did he get the chase? Did he activate something that I didn't see that let him get the post action? He must have. Oof. Good. One hit. That could have been dangerous if he got a few of those off. He had just used all of his hexagrams to turn him into star power, so that helped us a lot there. Oh, this chase is no matter what. The post action is the 24 HP. Okay. And yeah, we're really pushing our luck here with this card, but I think it'll be fantastic if it actually goes off like we want. Like we gained we gained nine chi the first round and none that second round, but we still got it off. You know what I mean? Now we're back to nine. Like, I don't think it's unreasonable to expect two chi in the first playthrough. It would be bad luck if it wasn't, and then that could lose us the game. But you know what? The game's about luck. We're going to play it, right? I want to try and maximize our luck potentiality. And with a heal and a max HP increase and a chase in there, I think that's huge bonus to us. But look at us. We're both holding strong. He's brought me back down over 100 HP now. He's got 14 star power, which is really going to hurt me on, on big hits. Okay, good. It ended 15 to 120. Big damages there, though. Hey, another Divine Brush. Who would have thought? We're going to be going back at it again. I really wanted the Versa Practice Puppet one more time for the five elements sec. But I think the last fight we had was a great example of how they those battles normally go. For five elements sec. Because they're obviously, like, generating battles. So, like, the longer they go, the more benefit that they have to themselves. Oof. And we got a chase in there. Look at that. Another great elements there. Got a little max HP to start us off with. Fantastic. The, the feel bad moment will be when this card is activates a chase card and I just chase into this and get nothing out of it. <laughs> but there's not a lot of chase in this deck that doesn't have to deal with a star point. So not too much to worry about there. All right, we have one chi. One chi. We gained three in that battle there. Ooh. Now he's gaining seven HP. Good for him. Seven HP per chi. The battle here. He's at 30 cultivation. I have 27. So we're going to play one more after this, no matter, at least one more after this, no matter what. Star power made some slots. Got some damage out on him, which is good. Back to two chi. Oh, big hits. That was huge damage. Oh my god, he's slapping me right now. It's moving so fast, I'm not even sure like what the cards were that were doing that to me. But just as he did that much damage, we brought it back down to almost an even game here. Oh my god, what the Frick just happened there. What just gave him 200 HP and tripled his star power? What was that? And I just lost because of how big that hit was. Oh my God. What just happened? 
Oh, that was fantastic. I'm going to have to rewind that to see what he just played because whatever it was, was huge. But that right there is the new Destiny Brush gameplay. Definitely go check it out. It's a lot of fun. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's good. Check out the Hepastar Pavilion specifically or really try your luck with the Five Elements Sect. Make sure you get that Winter Avatar and the card background. But all right, brothers and sisters, as usual, this has been Shabby Doing Up the rest of your day is not too shabby.